It's another day and it's raining in California. All right, just a quick video today. Uh, today is way raining in California and I thought, well, there it goes. There's, I'm not gonna make any solar power today, right? I came here to uh, my den where I have my, my DIY power walls and I was surprised, check it out. Let me show it to you. All right, so I know I owe you guys a ton of videos, including this whole thing when I, uh, install all of this and the way I designed the system, which is super simple, right? Using the uh, 36 uh, volt uh, hoverboards. Of course, uh, it doesn't make much sense to really do a lot, spend a lot of time on that video because these are no longer available. I waited so long that they're now not available, but maybe I could uh, do a video on this, touch this, right? I, what I did is I took a UPS apart, put it in this box, put several of these in there, and we can still do that, but maybe like on a 48 volt system. Uh, and so maybe I'll have to take all this down, redo it in 48 volts, and then that's the video I'll do. But of course, this will have to happen later on this year. But for right now, what I want to show you guys is these. So these are these MPT 72-7210A, uh, super cheap 30, you know, 30, dollar MPPT supposedly uh, boost uh, solar charge controllers, right? Um, I have two of them here because I have almost, uh, I think a little bit over a kilowatt uh, of panels up in the roof. And so I thought at full blast, if they're actually giving me a kilowatt, the way I have them connected at 20, 30, uh, 30 volts or something like that, uh, 36 volts, I think that's what they usually give. Um, it would be like 20 amps, right? And these are 10 amps each. So I thought if I put two in parallel, then it will be able to handle the, you know, the 20 amps that the panels will put. Now, as it turns out, I'd install them uh, facing north, which you're not <laughs> supposed to do if you want to get any kind of efficiency on the panels. And so I, as a result, I've never seen more than 10 amps. And so that's why uh, even though these two are here connected uh, in parallel, I've turned this one off. As it turns out, having both of them connected and fighting for that same current that's coming in to shove it into the batteries, two of them do are, are less efficient than just one. And so I turn one on off, and that's why you see here zero. The voltage is, is showing, but it's, it's doing nothing, right? I mean, I can turn it on here, but I don't want to just in case it'll turn this one off. So he, he, only this one is working and check it out. Look at it with no, almost virtually no sun out right now. It's still producing about 30 volts. Uh, the battery is at 37.7, which is at nominal voltage right now. It's kind of low actually. Um, it's only less than one amp. It's like 74.74 amps. Uh, or about 27 watts. That's what they're producing currently. But if you toggle here in the back, right, it's like eight hours and 27 minutes since the sun came out or since there was light outside. I don't know if the sun came out much today, uh, but they've produced about 785.3 watt hours. Um, if you toggle that up here, it's about 20 amp hours worth of, uh, electricity at 37 volts you know that's quite a bit uh and so as it turns out those panels that i put up in my roof are not the best they're actually nowhere near the best they're actually kind of crummy when it comes to you know power output and stuff but they have some um you know they they do have some benefits and and one of them would be like if you lived in a place that was always cloudy for example right that happens to be not california but if you were in one of those places this might be a better uh way to go to go with these panels because then you'll always be able to always be producing by the way in the summer these uh panels were putting out about three uh 
three kilowatt hours, right? In like, you know, the nine hours of light that there was in the summer. Now in the winter, they've been averaging about one. So today it's been cloudy and raining all day. They're, you know, 0.7. By the time the light goes off, maybe in another half hour or so, you know, we might get to like 800. Um, I don't know, at 17 watts right now. No, maybe, we, maybe we'll get close to 800 watt hours, right? So it's the difference between just like regular sunny winter uh, day and like cloudy raining day using these panels is only about 200 uh, watt hours. So, so they are uh, efficient. Now, of course, I don't have nothing to compare that because I don't have regular, you know, monocrystalline or polycrystalline uh, uh, panels up in the roof, but I will, I do have them right here. There's one right here, right? And I'm gonna do some tests uh, coming up, you know, off, as soon as I'm done with all these big projects, um, which I plan to not sign up for anymore because all of them prevent me from doing all these videos, right? And my, it's an a result. My channel has been, you know, suffering within the last three months. I haven't been putting out videos. Oh, the light turned off. Let me turn it back on. And so as a result of that, I'm behind on a lot of videos. Look at this. I mean, I have to test these guys with uh, these new lipo uh, 4 cells right i haven't gotten the hardware so i'm just god come on this stupid light by the way don't ever get these wireless things lights you know the fan it's horrible they just do that they turn on and turn off by themselves all the time uh yeah i need to find out the brand so i can give them a bad review anyways uh, I'm currently testing my batteries here, right? Those are those batteries that are gonna go in the Samba. Only 2600, 234, 100 milliamp hours. And these are all tested, right? Uh, but I thought, well, I'm not doing anything else. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm busy doing stuff, but I could just set it up here and that's what just kicked in right now. Come on. Yeah, this one's a fresh one that I just put in there, so 200. 280 uh, milliamp hours so far. Uh, yeah, I'm discharging at one amp. Uh, yeah, one amp. This is slightly less than one amp. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I have to test these, right? And Tom sent me a bunch of these. I think I've got like 50 of them and I'm gonna figure out how to make those into 48 volt packs so that we can use those for the large uh you know mid-size to large power walls um then also the other life po 4 that we got from that other seller that uh you know that is taking forever to ship them out the hardware's here um i'm setting this up right here so that i can um test these I want to short them out and see how much power you'll be able to see because they're supposed to do 200 amps continuous uh, but then I think it's much higher than that you know like for a short amount of time so I'm gonna do that another thing that I always want to test is I got a lot of comments in my videos that using these bronze uh, things are not good because they have a high resistance or whatever um, I want to test that right i i don't know it's a tr i mean yeah they have high resistance than copper but is it too much resistance you know can you just double up on them and then it's, it's the same because now you increase the size of the conductor so of course i'm gonna do all that i'm gonna use these here to try to put 200 amps into just two of them like this and then with the thermal camera we'll get to see how hot it's getting if it's getting too hot then yeah it, they're not you know you're losing a lot of energy just by by putting that in there so we'll i'll say i'll compare it with a uh, just copper right um and so that's what i'm doing here um so anyways this is was just a quick video uh i just want to share with you that the my solar system seems to be working 
not almost as sufficient as it does on the non rainy days uh even though it's been you know so so there's some benefits to those uh by the way those panels are almost gone um so once they're gone i don't i don't know i mean i think there are uh, there actually are other uh you know flexible solar panels right like this one's here but these are i think these are the same kind of the monocrystalline uh uh cells so they're not much different than the other ones but look at this brand here i haven't been able to find it uh, whoever sent this to me got it directly from china but these are pretty good that's another video that i have coming up it's uh comparing solar panels um which ones do better with which equipment and then solar charge controllers i want to compare a couple of them that i have and then see which ones are better including those green ones which i have a uh, suspicion that they're not the best that they're not not all not not only not the best but they're not very efficient but only testing will be able to do that right so stay tuned guys i will be done with this uh tv show edit that i'm working on and then i'll be back at making tons of videos all the videos that i owe you because i owe you a ton of videos so Stay tuned. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for all your support. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. What's going on there? Really must be worked on. Raising the Volkswagen up, buddy, to a whole new level. What? <laughs> Is that a is that a Tesla battery underneath the Volkswagen? It is a Tesla battery. <laughs> this is a bit. I don't forget the SEMA. <laughs> the official last year SEMA. I don't know if uh yeah. We'll oh. make it work. We'll make it work, we'll make it fit. We can file the corners down a little bit. <laughs> so the battery the battery box fits on a the... It fits nice, okay. doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it adds a few inches to that. Yeah, just a little bit. We can cut it in half. Nothing that a grinder won't smooth out. <laughs> <laughs>